E.T. Final Score is brought to you by Ashley Furniture. which means we are live in our Longview Bureau. Our enemy Emily Gagnon made a trip there to check in on the 2-0 Kilgore Bulldogs. They, of course, are now 3A in Class 3A. And, Emily, they've got two blowout victories so far this season. What's been the secret for Coach Wood and the Dogs? Eric, the Bulldogs have outscored their opponents 66-7 to so far, shutting out Marshall in Game 1 and allowing Sweeney a single touchdown in Game 2. Now that win pushed them in the top 10. You can attribute Kilgore's success to its running game. The Bulldogs have four running backs to choose from. In Week 1, the foursome along with quarterback Cooper Calderon and wide receiver Aaron Foy combined for 241 yards and three TDs on the ground. Calderon started 14 games at safety last season. He finished the year with over 120 tackles, but now he's running the offense. It's homecoming week at Kilgore, and the Bulldogs will face Pine Tree on Friday. After this week, they'll have one non-district matchup left. And with a perfect start, head coach Mike Wood says his team isn't slowing down after the year they had in 2011. Well, this group of seniors was, was part of something special last year and being able to, to, to play 14 football games last year and play after Thanksgiving. So, you know, I think they're driven in the fact of, you know, they tasted the playoffs and, and, and making a run in the playoffs, and I think that's one of the things that's brought them together. And uh, going into this year, you know, they've got some lofty goals set. Let's check in with Henderson now. The Lions are 1-1 one one on the year. Plano Prestonwood out of Dallas beat them in Week 0. The same team that defeated Gilmer last Friday. The Lions bounced back in Week 1 with a victory over Nacogdoches. Head coach Dickie Meek says his team needs to get over the mental part of the game to be successful, such as too many penalties and turnovers. The Lions turned the ball over four times in their win last Friday. Senior quarterback Jansen Moore has started both games this season and will do the same again against Hallsville. If you'll remember, there was a three-way battle before the season started. He's played well the first two games. Of course, against Plano, we didn't have the ball very much. They kept it most of the night. But he had a decent game there last week. It come back and had a really good game against Nacogdoches. He threw for a couple of hundred yards, a couple of touchdowns. And uh, he does have one interception. He had it in the first game. But he's continually improved both weeks. The Lions got 400 yards of offense in their win last Friday to make up for those four turnovers and get this 18 penalties. Eric, back to you in the studio. All right, thank you, Emily. Live from our Longview Bureau. Okay, let's move on to, of course, our ETFinalScore.com Game of the Week. JT and Lee doesn't get much bigger than this. They've been playing since 1958. We'll be live at Rose Stadium at 610.